Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you all are having a great day so far. So today we have here an iPhone 12 Pro running on iOS version 14.1, and we are going to be installing the Taurine jailbreak, which has been recently updated to support 14.8.1 as well. So currently Taurine supports iOS 14.0 through 14.8.1, and what makes it different to other jailbreaks is that it is fast, apparently, supercharged its experience using libhooker, extensive testing to ensure the best possible jailbreak, and it is also open sourced, which is always a good thing. It comes with the open source Procursus bootstrap, which we have seen in a previous jailbreak, designed from the ground up with community contributions and compatibility in mind, bringing that desktop class functionality to your device with powerful packages. And we'll take a look at that package manager as well. I believe with Taurine, we can use Cilio or Cileo, however you pronounce it. So similar to other jailbreaks that we have seen on this channel, we are going to be leveraging Alt Store for this installation, uh, making sure that we have Wi-Fi connectivity to download the IPA file and install it via Alt Store. There are uh, other methods to installing Taurine as well such as reprovision or downloading it directly from an IPA file. The all store repository is here. If we go further down the page, we can see that we are able to install via alt server and there are instructions here. You can go ahead and pause the video and read those if you would like to do so. And there's also IPA side loading. So here's alt store, uh, the alt store directions and IPA side loading directions uh, respectively. And as we look further down, we can see that there is an Odyssey uh, jailbreak as well for the iOS 13 counterpart, which we may review in another video, possibly. We have the Soleo package manager and the Chimera jailbreak, which we have reviewed in the iPhone 5S uh, jailbreak video. Credits go once again to Coolstar, which is the lead developer on this project, Hayden CA, which is the bootstrap developer. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that name correctly. Sorry, Hayden. Uh, 23 Aaron, a web and app developer. Uh, Tim Star, once again, an exploit developer. Adarn for, or Adam, Adam. I, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, Adam uh, with the installation guide. Jason uh, with the alt store repo. Uh, for some reason, I'm not able to access his Twitter page, so I'm not sure if he still has an online presence. And Megadev, a uh, site contributor, uh, and Modern Poner, and Pattern F, who were participating in exploit development. The site was developed by 23 Aaron. So uh, once again, uh, before proceeding into uh, these jailbreak activities, thank you to everyone on the credits and everyone on this team to dedicating your time and hard work over several days and weeks and months to making Taurine a reality. It is not an easy process to go through these things, uh, circumventing a company as large as Apple's infrastructure of security to be able to produce jailbreaks such as this. So these people are incredibly talented individuals and they deserve nothing but respect and admiration. So once again, uh, thank you all for providing this to the community and Hopefully, you know, we can continue to support each other in the future. So that being said, uh, let's go ahead and proceed with the jailbreak. Uh, the requirements this time uh, being, uh, as I mentioned before, having a reliable Wi-Fi connection so that we can download the relevant IPA file. And in this particular tutorial, we are going to be leveraging Alt Store to install the capability. And that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So scrolling up onto the page, I'm going to be selecting the install via alt store button here, and you will be prompted to open this uh, IPA file in alt store. So let's go ahead and click open. Alt store should automatically open. And then the package should begin installing. So we saw a message there briefly that an alt store or alt server cannot be detected. So you do want to make sure that your phone is connected to Alt Store 
uh, prior to installing the application. That is, if you are using AltStore for this installation. So uh, now we have Taurine sideloaded, and we can go ahead and go to our home screen and open the Taurine application. Over here on the home page for Taurine, we have some options available to us, enabling and disabling tweaks, the ability to restore root FS if we need to, changing the themes, which are just a few different colors. Here's a uh, sugar-free. We have mango crazy, which I actually kind of like. It's similar to, uh, what was the name of that? Jailbreak Chayote or Chayote. That's sort of what it reminds me of. And so last year, which is interesting. It sort of looks like a fruit smoothie and Azor Lane, which is this anime thing. Um, let's go ahead and leave it on the default for now. And if we take a look at the settings, we also see options available to us, such as setting knots if we uh, need to do so. Selecting it could set the knots here. If we, okay, it's a little bit buggy. So if we select exploit, we could choose the exploit that we would uh, utilize for touring. And I think this is more so for troubleshooting purposes if the initial exploit, and it automatically goes back to the previous screen. If the initial exploit does not work, then you could try other ones and uh, see if those troubleshooting steps would help you. We could also select to show memes. It's dithered out for some reason. And we can also join the Discord. There's also a credits option here to look at these individuals and selecting them would automatically take you to their relevant Twitter page. So all that being said, uh, let's go ahead and proceed with the jailbreak. And we could do that simply by pressing jailbreak and it will begin to run the exploit. So we will continue to wait for the exploit to run. It's on the second step. And then this splash screen appears with Torin. And we can go ahead and wait for the device to reboot. So with the Apple logo showing, the device is beginning to reboot. And now, uh, you would not initially see this. This is actually a tweak that was initially installed already. So if we go ahead and check Taurine again, then we can see now that our device is indeed jailbroken. Similar to other installed jailbreaks of the past, we can go ahead and go to the home screen. We should have Celeo installed. And when we select Celeo, we have a number of packages which we can go ahead and upgrade. So you may have seen based on the error message that I received that this is not exactly a fresh installation as I was uh, messing around with it a little bit earlier. Uh, however, after you've upgraded your packages, you should now be fully jailbroken with the Taurine jailbreak. And from this point, you can go ahead and install tweaks. Uh, some of the tweaks that I have installed so far be this uh, 24 hour clock as well as over on the lock screen it looks like it's not loading right now however uh, there are some lock screen tweaks that you can install through Soleo as well something that I would also recommend installing at this point would be Taurine permanent and this uh, makes the permanent installation of the Taurine jailbreak on iOS 14 through 14.8.1 it is in the Odyssey repo, so uh, once you add that repository, I'll add some repositories for Taurine in the description as well. But if you would like to not need to reinstall this every seven days, this is something that I would recommend as well. when you do so, that would install another Taurine uh, application. So this Taurine would be the permanent one, and the other Taurine 
would be the one that was installed from OddStore. So that is just something to keep in mind if you uh, go ahead and do something like this. So uh, that being said, and that is uh, more or less the Taurine installation. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. And uh, happy jailbreaking. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have a great day. Take care.